Edison Chen and Jordan One collab. Are you a fan of these? Um, I am just because I like Edison Chen. I, I'm a big fan of. I think I've been rooting for this guy ever since he went through that controversy. Went through back in the day with you know with the girls and that laptop stuff. I think he did a really. He really fought back well. Um, he didn't let the narrative. He didn't let the blogs dictate the narrative. And essentially, he's, t- he's, he's turned into a much better person, isn't it, really, through that controversy. He's done nothing but good stuff just to, like, you know, give back to the community and shit. So I'm happy that he's b- basically doing this. Um, uh, da, 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 da. So this collaboration, I'm not sure what the point of it is, but I'm all for it. I think it's got the... He's taking inspiration or it's basically following a trend of other sneaker collaborations where the upper was essentially a kind of tearaway, cutaway sort of thing. And we've got two stories here that kind of detail it from Hype Beast, of course. Um, one is it they're coming out early, so this is one. This is one of him. The lookbook I pretty like because I quite like his poses. He's very um, cool streetwear pose that he does. Um, so this is from Hype Beast. Take a closer look at the Edison Chen Jordan One Mid Fearless. Let's take a bigger picture here. You've got this weird sort of like what's that? You get that from um, uh, Chinese stores, isn't it? What is that? Is it like a you get a little? Is it a bracelet? I had I had a bracelet maybe with that sort of similar sort of coin. Just in the middle of the lace day here. That reminds me of that. So you've got this amazing sort of like authentic satin textile on the upper. Uh, silver with a black. Oh, look at that. The swoosh is embroidered. Interesting. Okay. An embroidered swoosh with a black tongue and black laces. And obviously like a, the satin on the inside um, lining as well with a blood red outsole. Um, classic really. Oh, wow. Look at the swoosh. It's sort of... Uh, sort of stitched in and it fades out as it goes to the back of the hill tab that is incredible yeah i remember that coinish that little circle thing i'm pretty sure you get it on bracelets or something again they haven't relaced the shoes it's such a pet peeve of mine if you're gonna do product shots relace the shoes properly man god damn it oh but yeah um i love the shoe and supposedly you can tear them away on the upper so you can basically expose uh, bits of underneath of the shoe by tearing it away and kind of picking away at it and burning it and of course he's edison chen the main man sitting on the basketball court with the shoes on now i love the blood red sole that's bloody awesome maybe taking information from chinese new year but let's let's take a look at the article itself what information do they have here for us continuing his release of the silk road royale mark sneakers um clock founder clock co-founder edison chen has teamed up with the jordan brand edge on one mid for the fearless ones collection uh centered around the message of internationalism and ex- internalism and externalism found in clock's recent nike sneaker releases the shoes are inspired by the chinese concept of yin and yang with a peel of uppers okay so the white bits the yin and the black bits the yang underneath i'm assuming right the upper of the shoe is done in silver woven nylon that expresses the uh, silk road royale pattern and that can be removed to reveal a black and gold premium leather construction oh it's leather underneath bloody hell la, la, la. Um, detailing comes in the form of a fadeaway stitches swoosh and a chinese coin bearing the uh with that symbol drawn on one in china okay wow attached on the black flat flat laces rounding up the design of the shoes jumpman logo you know what might have been cool the laces maybe some round nylon tubular ones or something they might have been pretty cool i don't know maybe i'm wrong on that i think that look well, it's pretty awesome um they're gonna be out december the 6th so it's already they're out already so they're already gone um oh december 7th from the sneakers app as well so they probably already sold out now because clot shoes just do stupid numbers when they come out but yeah, they're banging in it. Look at that. That's so cool. I love that. How you can expose different bits of it and still have the little white uh, sort of like tubing bits on the outside of the stitching. They look cool. Really, really nice. You tear it away. It sort of fades out there. They look amazing, isn't it? I love that. Really cool design. Um, so 12 City Edge on 1, SC Jordan S will release. Worldwide and juice stores, blah, blah blah. But yeah, one of my favorite collections so far, man. I think he smashed that that one. He did really well. Another, it's another image of it as well. I think it looked incredible. Again, the lacing is terrible on the product shots, but you know, it is what it is. They're due to cut. They already come out. I'm sure they sold out straight away for the most part. But yeah, they are banging. We're gonna see so many Jordan ones in it. They're gonna be everywhere. I'm, we've seen a lot of New Balances. Seen a lot of Jordan ones. A lot of Dunks. Those are probably going to be the big shoes we're going to see in uh, next year, especially the early part of next year, the first quarter and shit. You can see a lot of Jordan ones, a lot of Dunks, <laughs> oh, a lot of New Balances coming out. But I, I, I don't mind it, man. I think it's all good. I like even like the panties got on as well. I'm probably part of their collection to tie in with it. But yeah, Edison Chen's always a big floss when it comes to dropping shoes, anyway. So no surprise there. Banging, banging, banging trainers, man. Let's see what he posts on his Instagram regarding it. Did he post anything more? I'm pretty sure they probably sold out in bloody minutes, isn't it? 
But yeah, some other images of people wearing them again here. But yeah, they look banging. I like them, man. I like them. I like them. Check them out if you're that way inclined, man. 